Good evening, dear ones, spiritual ones, enlightened ones, inspired ones, enchanted ones. Thank you for popping in and sharing this little time with me so we can connect with uh, Archangel Michael and our angels to be blessed and hear prayers and wisdom from them. My name is uh, Reverend Cindy St. Martin, and I'm a certified angel therapist. I'm certified in mindfulness. I'm certified in holistic health and healing. And I'm also a Reiki master for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. So thank you all for popping in. It's Wednesday night. I think there for a minute. We're getting over the hump here on the East Coast of the United States. And it's about 6.43 p.m. Uh, so thank you. Hello, darling Stephanie. Thank you for popping in and joining uh, with me tonight. I'm so glad that you're here. We have a very rainy, rainy, rainy day and night, which... I um, feel blessed about <laughs> and happy that's not snow, but either or uh, it's a time for cleansing and it's time for uh, for us to get together. I hope if, if you've had your dinner, hope you're settled down. Uh, some of you are probably in the morning hours or in the afternoon hours, wherever you are here in this wonderful, beautiful world. Uh, and thank you for popping and joining. Hello, beautiful Colleen. Thank you for popping in and joining uh, us tonight. Oh, lots of rain, Stephanie. Uh, it means cleansing <laughs> and purification. Um, but I hope everyone's safe uh, as they're uh, and staying dry. <laughs> hello, Jane. Thank you for popping in and saying hello and joining us tonight. I'm very happy and glad that all of you are here. So while you're here watching, go ahead and send me your angels to help meet and greet with my angels to have a little bit of an angel party going on and help select some of the cards for our messages tonight oh it's raining in georgia it must be all up the east coast probably i don't i don't know how far it extends um uh the, the weather i i look at the weather on my phone <laughs> and i don't catch the news report uh too much so i don't know how far far it is but i hope everybody is safe and enjoying their wednesday you know of course we're going we're getting over the hump <laughs> for the rest of the week and feeling blessed and amazing and wonderful that you truly, 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 truly are. So I'm going to go ahead and why don't we just shuffle the Archangel Michael prayer cards and uh, and we'll see what amazing uh, prayer he has for us. Yep. Thank you, Colleen. Send me your angels, you all. <laughs> go ahead and send them to me to meet and greet uh, my angels and help uh, select messages that is needed for all of us to hear and um, and come together. A lot of uh, activity. Thanks, Renee. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of universal activity that's going on uh, lately. And, and I know a lot of you are probably feeling um, disconnected or feeling it's time for changes <laughs> and wanting to get better. There, there Maybe there's energies in the sky about... Uh, wanting to do take better care of your health or your finances things like that Try, trying to get these things polished up things maybe on the home front uh, that you want to get straightened out and get it together and get organized and or get motivated to do these things so improvements either in your health in your relationships in your home in your finances to help get these improvements that are going on and Stephanie, you're awesome doing God's work. Better yesterday, Jane. Jane okay. um, and, you know, some of us are aware that we're doing God's work, which is a good thing, having that awareness. And then, of course, there's others that are not aware you're doing God's work, and you, and you don't realize you're doing God's work. <laughs> every, every time, every time you smile at someone, every time you send love, every time you... You have uh, an enlightened uh, experience or a feeling or a, a feeling of gratitude, uh, a feeling of, 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 of joy, happiness. It means you are so connected to the energies of our loving creator. So, yeah, you're doing God's work. When we realize that we are definitely a child of God, a child of the universe, uh, whatever you believe in, you know, that 
you're doing God's work. And however you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, or however you're feeling at, at any given moment, are energies that you're putting out to the universe. And so you are definitely blessing the world and people. Now, if we get caught up with uh, any negative or fi finding judge, judging things or finding things wrong or connecting to illnesses and sicknesses and to problems, then our energy is going toward that. And then we, we're not doing God's work. We're not healers. We're actually making things <laughs> worse. So we don't want to focus, you know, and, and a lot of times, I, you know, I see, of course, on Facebook, people post negative things that are going on and negative things that, that, that are happening. And they don't realize they're giving energy to these negative things. Like um, those of you who know me, I grew up in Philadelphia and I, I live uh, north of Philadelphia now. And so, of course, I'm a, a sports fan, grew up in Philadelphia, uh, Eagles fan. And, and you know, and they're posting the, all the terrible things that people did during after they won. And I'm like, don't do this. Post the wonderful things that people have done because you're giving that energy to, to those things. And, and energy, <laughs> the universe, and God are not the ones to determine what's bad or good. We determine that. They just recognize the energy that you're putting out. So this is why you have to be very aware of what you think, say, and do, because that's what's going to come back to you. That's the reality you're creating. That's the, the, what you're doing. So they, they cannot determine, because we're given free will to choose. So we can determine what's good and what's bad and how we work. God doesn't do that. God blesses us. He gives us what we want. So if we're putting out negative energies or focusing on negative things and posting these negative videos and these things on Facebook, then he says, okay, that's what they want. I'm going to give them more because I love them. <laughs> that's how it works. And so you really want to be aware of what you're posting, what you're sharing, what you're giving energy to. You don't want to be very aware that you don't focus on negative things because you're giving energy to that and then you're going to bring more negative type things into your life. Oh, Stephanie, I saw you helping for Sarah's closet. You are uh, 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 an earth angel. <laughs> Keep doing the good work, my dear. You are loving yourself, Stephanie. Very good, my dear. <laughs> but we want to really make sure that you don't find fault. You don't blame. You don't bring cause or reason to, to recognize or to escalate negative energies or ego type energies out to the universe. So be very, 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 very careful of what you post, what you think, what you say. Because like I had said, God doesn't determine what's good or bad. That's our choice. <laughs> We're given free will to choose, free will to recognize that. He just gives us more of what we put out to the universe. He gives us because he loves us unconditionally. And that's the number one universal law for law of attraction. So, you know, people, I, I hear people say all the time, I'm a good person. We are. We're all good people. <laughs> we all have the ability to, to give, receive love and, and, and have caring and compassion. We all have that. So, yeah, we all are good people. But you have these good people say, oh, I do is good things for other things, and, and I get nothing in return. Well, first of all, saying that is a negative thought. So you're creating more negative things. You're creating more. No, you're not getting more things in return. So be very mindful and be very aware of what you think, say, and do out to the universe, the energies that you're putting out. You have everything that, that you want and desire is already present in your life. It's already there. Because if you think it, and you ask for it, and it's already given. Ask and you shall receive, right? <laughs> and and it's already, already there. So you want to connect to that, your blessings. You want to connect to the positive energies. You want to connect to that. So it comes to you. So you're open to receive. Every time you have a negative thought, every time you have um, a, a complaining <laughs> or finding fault, you just put to close the door on what you on things you want to manifest because whatever energy that, or that you're putting on at that moment is what's going to manifest to you so you want to stay in a positive thought 
knowing that, that you are deserving. Stay excited for what's to come. Stay grateful <laughs> that, that it's going to because you have free will to choose. You have free will to choose what is manifested in your life, what you create, what you bring forth to you. You have that free will. God doesn't choose, you choose. <laughs> he loves you. You know, and when we all have, if you have children, uh, you know, you love your children unconditionally. <laughs> and when you give them choices, you know, do you want chocolate or vanilla? <laughs> you know, whatever, or you want both. Or so you got three choices. So, uh, you know, um, we have the choice and uh, and it's the same thing as being God's children. He gives us free will to absolutely to choose what, what we uh, desire and want, and he gives it to us, <laughs> okay? <laughs> choose positivity, choose blessings, uh, choose these things um, in your life, and that's what you're going to manifest. Okay, so I'm busy talking, I'm shuffling. Archangel Michael prayer cards and we'll see what wonderful message and prayer that he has for us. For those who are popping in, go home, go ahead and send me your angels. <laughs> so they meet and greet with my angels and uh, a little bit of an angel party going. Okay, the card is, or the prayer is, very important, self-respect. And, and I was just saying earlier about the energies in the universe are encouraging us to make our lives better yeah you know either our health better or our finances better or our home better or relationships better uh, this is the energy so and this all finds out thank you Tricia <laughs> this this all falls of course under self-respect so uh self-respect is the card uh, or the prayer from Archangel Michael and the prayer reads it says dear God and angels thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love thank you for honoring and respecting me please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf i ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that i am surrounded by loving and kind people uh, we all know we have family members or just just people in general. Uh, thank you, Marlene, thank you for sending your angels uh, who disrespect us, you know? And sometimes uh, we let things slide, <laughs> not to get into any form of confrontation or try to keep the peace, uh, but we have to really focus on, hello, Crystal, thank you for, uh, uh, Chris Selva, I hope I pronounced it right. Thank you for popping in, uh, my beautiful friend. Thank you. It's up to this determine how we are treated. And, you know, uh, and sometimes uh, self-respect. If someone, if someone says something terrible to you or mistreats you or disrespects you in any way and you let it bother you, <laughs> That's not self-respect. If someone says something to you that bothers you or hurts you and you don't let it bother you, that's self-respect. Because remember, what you think, say, and do out to the universe, you're creating your reality. The energies are coming back to you. So if you don't let those things that people say and do to you bother you, then you're telling God in the universe, this has no effect to me. You let it go off. So this is where self-respect comes in. You choose how people treat you, and this is how you do it. If you allow someone's behavior, and believe me, if people are in are happy in their lives, they would not act such a way. But uh, and and we don't always know what people are thinking, what they're saying. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it affect you. Okay. You create and you what you allow, how people treat you, uh, what you allow, what you give energy to is what's going to come back to you and bring more of those like-minded type of people. So, somebody says something you don't like, I'll drop in your mouth. 
<laughs> All this talking makes my, my throat very dry with this dry air, static electricity. Um, but anyway, if you don't allow what people say to you, bother you, that's self-respect, that's self-love. Okay, so really pay attention. Again, be mindful of your thoughts. Negative energies, positive energies. God doesn't know the difference. <laughs> you might think he knows the difference. He can't choose what bothers you and what's good for you and what he can't choose. Only you can choose that. <laughs> he can't. No, do you know sometimes if there's a situation that bothers you and somebody looks and says, Why are you letting that bother you? That doesn't bother me. I can't determine what, what's good and what's bad for you. Only you can determine that by what you think, say, and do out to the universe, by how you respond to people, how you respond to situations, what you give your energy to, what you give your focus to. No one has done you wrong unless you chose them to do you wrong. Okay, The power lies within you. Your choices within you. So I'm going ahead and shuffling uh, the angel tarot cards and we'll see what wonderful messages our angels have. If um, I mean, your angels, go ahead and do it now. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get this deck. We'll see. Nine of Fire is the first card. And the angels say, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. The last thing that we need <laughs> In our lives is somebody telling us that this hard work and our thought process and what we're doing is wrong. <laughs> we'll need that. Sometimes it's best just to do things and not tell anybody. <laughs> but then again, we have people that we trust and hope for. My son is like that. <laughs> My oldest son comes to me, tells me things, I give him advice, he doesn't listen to me. <laughs> He's still stuck in this situation. It keeps happening over and over again. I says, why don't you just listen to me? Just try it once. <laughs> you know, so, but the choice is yours. You know, the choice is yours. And he's the type of person that doesn't like giving up on things. And I'm the type of person is, if it doesn't work and I gave you a few, gave it a few chance and it doesn't work, I'm giving it up. <laughs> I'm not going to put any more energy in there. I'm going to, there's something better out there waiting for me. And he's different like that. So he, he'll stay for the long run, for a long, long time on something to try to get it to work. So we think differently. <laughs> but I'm telling you, or the angels are telling us, protect what you have created. Have courage. And believe in yourself. No, put those energies out there. No, you are wise in what you want to create, what you want to manifest in your life. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't give them that much power over you. You know, um, a lot of things you might want to keep quiet because remember what I said earlier about posting negative things in situation, giving energy to that, complaining, posting negative videos. Uh, fights or destruction or anything else like that. We post that, we give that more energy. So if someone's going to speak <laughs> on something that you're doing, they're giving energy to what you don't want. You don't want that. You want energy put toward what you do want. So be very, very careful. Make sure you stand up for what you believe in and don't let some what somebody says bother you. Again, we're going back to that. Okay. Uh, with Archangel Michael, self-respect. Don't. But what somebody says, bother you. Do not give that energy. 
so you can keep them on. It seems to be a little bit of confirmation here on the messages. King of Fire. This is going to, like I was saying again about the energies of the universe, where we're trying to make improvement either on our health or our finances or relationships or in our home. It's all about improvement, uh, the energies that are happening now in the universe. So you might be wanting to do some research and make some changes in your life. And this is all call, uh, falls under that too. The King of Fire. Did I show you? <laughs> King of Fire is next. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with a vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Now, when the angel's telling you to be a leader, it means take the leadership role in your life. You want somebody else to lead you in your life. You take the leadership role in your life. Okay, communicate with a vision. Speak with excitement, with, with what you see happens. Create that. Allow it to happen. Allow it to, to manifest. We are co-creators in our lives. And the most important thing, whatever we desire, whatever we want to create, we have to focus on. Do not put your focus on what you don't want. <laughs> You, what's going to manifest is what you focus your thoughts on. So don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. Take the leadership role in your life and do what you know is best for you. Have the courage like the nine of fire and believe in yourself. Stay faithful. Stay positive. I don't care how long it takes. Stay there. If you put it out there into the universe in your so-called vortex, <laughs> an escrow, your escrow is building on what you want and allow it to come to you. Pay, payday, okay? Allow it to happen. You have to stay positive. If you're looking for money, stop thinking about money. Stop thinking about the money you don't have. Stop thinking about whether or not you have money to pay your bills. Stop putting the energies of what you don't want. Stop putting your energies on what you do want. So you think about, if you, if you have to think about money, think about you have enough money to pay your bills. You have enough money to go on vacation. You have enough money to fix your house. You have enough money to take your sweetheart out to dinner. You have enough money. The money is always there. You're not thinking about it. You're not worried about it. There's no concern. This is how you create more of it. But when you think of it or put your focus on something negative, what you don't have, that's what you're going to create. Be very mindful of what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're doing. Your focus is really important. Communicate with the vision of what you do want, not what you don't want. Okay, really, really important for that. Like I had said earlier, God doesn't know what's good or bad in your life. That's up to you to determine. He's going to bring you more of what you're focusing on, the energies that you're putting out. That is how you're going to create. Hello, beautiful Lorian. Thank you for popping in. Hello, Bella Anna Chow. Thank you for popping in tonight. Thank you so much for joining and sharing uh, the wonderful energies that we have together and the love. So the third card is the King of Earth. <laughs> now, now, we've been focusing. We're... We're manifesting. We're being mindful of our thoughts. We're not giving up. We're not letting people sway us or tell us that we're doing something wrong or something terrible. Good evening, beautiful Kathy. Thank you for the love, my dear. Thank you for popping in. We're not letting people persuade us. We're not letting people to tell us what's what's real, what's not, and what's good for us and what isn't. We're kind of like, you know, just doing what we have to do to make our lives better. And when we do that, it says the king of earth comes up. It says a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered because you have the Midas touch. Opportunities that come. We get, God sends us, the universe sends us opportunities to enhance our lives. Um, you know, we might uh, look at an opportunity as being something negative. Like, we're dealing with a difficult person. <laughs> this is for instance. Like, why is God sending me this terrible person? I'm such a good person. Why, why aren't I giving good, a good person? 
Because God's given you the opportunity to show compassion. <laughs> God's given you the opportunity to be understanding. God has given you the opportunity to bless someone who's suffering. You're blowing it. Don't blow it. You have the Midas touch to create something wonderful in your life. It's, you have the Midas touch, the opportunities to make things happen. Do not look at anything that happens in your life as something terrible. These are opportunities to make the changes that you want and what you need. You're going to take that change and you have the Midas touch to do this, to go ahead and do this. Um, I keep seeing the lately, about a week or so, I keep seeing the number 77. So this, it's, it's amazing that this um, card has come up. And uh, the number 77, I'll tell you in a second what it means. <laughs> says, um, keep up the great work. Everything you're doing right now has the Midas touch. So, <laughs> it's a wonder that this card came up because it's definitely a, com uh, a confirmation um, as far as I believe. And of course, it's a message for all of you. Don't let people uh, persuade you. I think that you're doing what you're doing is wrong. Stay focused to make these changes that are happening in your life with self-respect. And those, some of you popping in later, miss the self-respect part. And how we gain self-respect is how we allow what other people say to us, bother us or not. How we get uh, energetically universal uh, of respect, more respect, self-respect to us. If we focus on someone disrespecting us, then our focus is on the disrespect, not the respect. We're going to get more people disrespecting us. But if we don't allow someone who has disrespect, here's the opportunity God's given you to gain more, more self-respect. You see how this works? God's given He sends someone who's disrespectful to you. And he's given you the opportunity to get self-respect or, or get respect from other people. So he's giving you an opportunity to create self-respect. So if you're focusing on the fact that someone disrespected you and you keep your focus on that and the energies on that, voila, you're going to get more of it. Don't let what somebody says bother you. It has no effect of you at all because you love yourself. And so this is where you're going to create respectful people coming to you. That's self-respect for you. Okay. And that's what you want to definitely uh, focus your focus on and how you create people are just so busy wanting to complain about what this person said with that part this person disrespect you. nobody disrespected you i'm telling you right now only you allow people to disrespect you <laughs> you create your own disrespect and you also create your own respect no one does it to you <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle uh, the romance cards. For those who are looking for a little love, we're coming close to St. Valentine's Day. And um, how about we sh all show ourselves a little bit of love, <laughs> more love than we need to. <laughs> Always need more love. <laughs> At this time of year, it's really important. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the deck. Hmm. Keep it open mind. Those of you who are looking for romance or real love, whether you're looking for someone <laughs> to come into your life, or maybe you have someone in your life, and maybe you want to know how to spice things up. Maybe it's time to like put an end to it, whatever it is. It's okay. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We always focus on, like I was saying earlier, what we don't want. 
and you know some people say <laughs> some people say why do i keep attracting the same kind of guy that i don't want because you're focusing on what you don't want instead of what you do want <laughs> stop focusing on what you don't want and and start focusing on what you do want okay now you want someone who's loving someone who's very kind uh, you can't always <laughs> when i had when i had met silly i'm going to go back to this i had so many <laughs> what i don't want and what and and what and of course what i do want that when i met tilly he's the complete opposite he's the most wonderful person in the world the things that he, he does have is a kind heart he's compassionate he's funny he's joyful he's considerate he's romantic he's uh generous he's kind he's thoughtful all of these traits that that i'm looking for in, in, in a man he has them is he a vegan no i'm a vegan but he's not okay uh you know um height requirements and all the things that i had thought i wanted he's none of that but he's everything that i wanted he's everything that i needed He's, he brings so much joy and happiness in my life. And, and it just boom when I met him. So the thing is, when you're looking for your soulmate, made different from your usual type and expectations. Be open. Keep an open mind when it comes to this. It's the same thing if you're already in a relationship. And maybe little things that they do might irk or bother you or something like that. But focus on who they really are. Do they have a kind heart? Are they, uh, you want, if someone has a kind heart, you want to encourage that kind heart more. If someone is compassionate, you want to feed that compassion in them. This is how you create wonderful relationships. Stop seeing the so-called bad things that you think they do because they're not doing anything bad. It's who they are. You want to encourage the good things that uh, that make them wonderful in your eyes okay and if they're loving if they're compassionate if they're understanding if they're funny you know even if you heard the joke a hundred times encourage that humor in them laugh at that and so it brings more of it to you see it as a blessing if they're kind dwell on their kindness bring show them or let them know that you recognize how kind they are if they're they're you know loving whatever those are giving you want to to encourage that those things so they keep coming to you they keep blessing to you because and we all know if we're appreciated with someone uh, we want to do more for them so when you show appreciation for your significant other they're going to want to do more for you so be appreciative and it doesn't always have to be in gifts it's just your words your actions and encouragement to them and recognizing how wonderful they really really are instead of finding fault with them you know, if you encourage them, if they don't take out the trash because you wanted them to take out the trash <laughs> uh, and they don't take out the trash and you wanted to trash out, you got to say, why did you take out the trash? No, you don't say that. <laughs> How come you didn't take out the trash when I asked you to? No, you don't say that. So, you know what? <laughs> I love it when you take out the trash for me. It's such a help. It's, it's so helpful for me when uh, when you really take out the trash. I really appreciate the time and effort that you do this. And guess what? They goes, oh, I forgot to take the trash out. They go get the trash. See how uh, you, by being appreciative that someone is going to allow them to do even more for you. So that's just an example, but, but I'm sure you all know that. Next card, if you're looking for someone, they're worth waiting for. Or if you're in relationship and you're looking you want to take it to the next level it's worth waiting for if you know you have a winner with you be patient and allow them don't force things to happen okay allow them to get to that place where you are in their own time 
because it's going to last so much longer, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? And that what we really, really, uh, you know, it's when you're dealing with another person or another, or, you know, no matter what it is, whether it's romantic or work or family, whatever it is. But when we're dealing with another person, it's not just your divine timing that's at work. It's their divine timing too, you know. And sometimes divine timing, <laughs> uh, theirs and yours are not at the same time. <laughs> so we want to make sure that uh, we stay patient during that. And knowing and staying excited that it's coming, that it's going to manifest in, in our lives to go ahead. It's worth waiting for to have the love of your life in your life and have a wonderful companionship with another person that's going to bless you continuously. Okay. The next card says this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner that, that you see. <laughs> you know, uh, some of you might say, I did where? <laughs> where are they? Are I, do I work with them? Do I met them at the grocery store? <laughs> um, this is more or less uh, um, our soulmates or twin flames. Uh, we You've already met them. You already know that they they exist, and when we talk about that, you already met them before. We're talking about the non physical form of us, the spirit that's in us, or the you know within us. Yeah, our souls have already uh, collided. Our souls have already met. We may not have met in the physical form yet in this lifetime, uh, or maybe we have. Uh, you know, sometimes. Um, uh, Tilly and I were at, uh, years ago, back in the uh, 1980s, um, when Michael Jackson's the Jacksons came to their victory tour in Philadelphia. He was at the same concert. <laughs> I was there. Who knows? We could have been talking and, and next to each other, and we don't remember it. Okay. So yeah, there could there could be a way of and then years later, uh, you connect, you tell stories, and that you were at the same place at the same time. And you don't know that you could have actually had communicated at one time or another. Your soulmate, yes, you keep coming together. Your twin flame, you keep coming together in, in many times and in many areas. And uh, so you very might have met them before, before you in, didn't even realize that you have, that they come together. But things have to work out. in perfect divine timing, not just your divine timing, but their divine timing too. Hang in there, stay positive, stay excited. If you had put it out to the universe, it's it's there. Your prayers are, your prayer, there's no way your prayers could not be answered. So stop doubting it. Stop worrying about it. Stop, stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop focusing that you don't have a relationship or that you're not, you know, uh, whatever. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop focusing that you're lonely. Stop focusing on that because that's holding things from manifesting in your life. Start focusing on that. You do have a soulmate. You do have a relationship. They are coming. They are there looking for you. As you're looking for your soulmate, your soulmate's looking for you too. Stay excited. Stay open to receive because when you look at what you don't have, and this is true with everything in your life. If you're complaining, if you're finding fault, if you're blaming, you're block closing that door for manifestations of what you want. So even if you're not just focusing on the relationship part, but it could be anything in your life that you're finding fault with or not happy with, okay, that's blocking from things manifesting in your life and you don't want to go there. Don't go there. Okay, you want to continue to be blessed at, with everything in your life. You are always where you're supposed to be. Don't find fault with it. Okay, if there's something that disturbs you, you're getting red flags. God's giving you red flags. You need to make a change. Don't find fault with those red flags. 
go ahead and make the change. Okay, you're getting both legs, things are work out. Pay attention to your emotions. Yeah, if something makes you a little upset uh, or angry, don't stay focused on the anger, but recognize it and say, hmm, there's a red flag here. I got to make some changes uh, in my life to make it even more blessed, more enhanced. These are opportunities, like I was saying. These are opportunities for you to create the reality that you want to make the changes that you need to make. They're not problems, they're opportunities. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate uh, your time and love uh, being with me. I'm trying to get back on board with the morning prayer. <laughs> uh, I think it will probably be more stable in March. <laughs> I'm hoping that when I get into March, uh, there's things in the morning. I'm traveling or I'm going here or I'm going there and, and uh, I have to... <laughs> here or uh, I'm up late and I'm, I'm sleeping later in the morning, whatever, but hopefully my schedule will be, definitely be better so we can connect in the morning, have that morning prayer, because I really enjoy that. I, I like, I really enjoy connecting and we come together for morning prayer and messages from our angels to start our day off. So I really enjoy that. So thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great Wednesday night. If you're having Wednesday night, we're we'll over the hump. The rest of the week is all downhill. Know that you're a blessing and you are needed upon this wonderful earth, okay? You're powerful when you're in the knowing, when you have God, the ascendant masters, the angels, and archangels behind you. You're powerful. Uh, there's no stopping you. Thank you for the love and blessings, Bella Anna. Thank you so much. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. You have to feel it in here. You have to already be a peaceful, loving place for it to happen. So get there, okay? <laughs> and of course, God blesses and loves you, and so do I. Lots of kisses, loves, hugs from me to you. And, of course, I wish you all namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love in you. Have a great night, day, if you're into Thursday, whatever. And be mindful of your thoughts, what you're creating. Okay, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.